What's going on guys, Build a Gangster here, bringing you a new series on my channel. Uh, this game is Risk of Rain, and Risk of Rain is an independent game uh, made by Hapu Studios, which consists of two people. It's Paul Morse, which is the uh, lead developer guy, and then there's uh, Duncan Dummond, is uh, the artist and programmer. He's also a programmer. Um, and then the... Uh, the person that made the music in this game is Chris Christadulo, I think is how you pronounce that. Um, excellent, excellent game. It's like a roguelike type adventure platformer. Um, and I've just been addicted to it, so I was like, hey, I'll make some videos about it. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll experience it together. Um, the series is going to be about... At least I'm going to make like two first videos about... There's ten different classes that you can choose from. Um, as you can see here, I've only played as eight of them. Um, well, I've played as the other one, other two, I just haven't finished a run with them. Um, but I, as you can see, I'm 75%, about three-fourths of the way completed with this game. Um, so the first two videos will be about the classes and just about the strategy, how to play. Um, a little bit, bit of a review about the game. And then after that, I'm going to do um, Let's Achieve, uh, is what I'm going to call them. And I'm going to do tutorials on how to complete the challenges. And uh, I'm going to do tutorials on how to complete the challenges that I've already completed. And then I'm going to do videos on me completing the ones I haven't completed yet. Because the ones I ha almost all the ones I haven't completed yet are really hard, except the mercenary. Um, the first mercenary achievement. That one's really easy. But yeah, okay, let's get just get into it. I don't want these videos to be too long. Uh, we'll start with the commando. Okay, each, each uh, class has four abilities. And, uh, so we'll just, okay, so Commando is the character you start out with. You don't have to do anything to unlock him. Um, his first ability is, uh, Double Tap. Now, the first ability, this is true for all ten classes. Your first ability is, like, your auto attack. Um, there's no cooldown on it. You can use it as much as you want. So, Double Tap, you shoot twice for two times 60% damage. All damage in this game is percentage damage, so that it scales with your level ups and difficulty and stuff like that. Uh, his second ability is Full Metal Jacket. It's your AoE damage. It shoots through all enemies on a line, and it knocks them back and does 230% damage. Uh, his third ability is Tactical Dive. This is his defensive ability. Uh, you roll forward a small distance, and while you're rolling, you are completely invincible. Um, so it's good for kiting and stuff like that. Uh, and then his uh, fourth ability is Suppressive Fire. Um, this does not do AoE damage, but it scales really well with uh, splash damage items, which we'll talk more about the items when we uh, are in the, uh, in the in the actual game. Um, it fires rapidly and it stuns the enemies, which when an enemy is stunned, any damage it takes knocks them back, and they are, other than being knocked back, they are immobile, and they cannot attack. So it's definitely really useful for uh, uh, crowd control and stuff like that. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, wait, 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 we don't want to play on easy difficulty. Um, so the way difficulty works in this game is very, uh, somewhat unique. Um, there's three base difficulty settings. There's, uh, Drizzle, Rainstorm, and Monsoon. I usually play on Rainstorm. Um, other than those three base difficulties, um, as you can see in the top right, uh, difficulty scales with time. So the longer you play, um the harder the game gets. Now the objective of this game is there are six levels total including the final level and you have to complete them technically as fast as possible um, and by you complete a level by finding the teleporter as you can see above my uh, health bar it says it gives you your objective it says find the teleporter so you have to find the teleporter and once you do you have to activate the teleporter and then basically there's a wave of enemies that come and you have to survive for 90 seconds and a boss also spawns that you have to kill so um, pretty straightforward once you uh, once you play for a little bit you just have to find the teleporter and it's it's a roguelike game so it randomly spawns uh, on the level and the level design is such that there are certain presets for the levels like there's this level that I'm playing on right now and then there's another variant for the first uh, for the first level I'm saying level too much this might be confusing kind of difficult to explain now that I think about it um, but there's two different presets for the first level 
and uh, there's the, those are the only two you can get, but uh, there's different variants for those levels as well. And then everything else that spawns on the level is completely random. So it definitely, each experience is completely unique, pretty much. But you can definitely memorize the general layout of each level, so you know how to optimally um, uh, search the level for the teleporter and other items and stuff like that. Because um, you are pressed for time, so you want to do it as fast as possible. I'm going really slow right now because I'm talking, and uh, I want to... I want to try and explain everything I can. Um, as for uh, the commando, so let's talk about the commando. Um, how some strategy behind playing is him. You cannot move and shoot at the same time. So the strategy is to get all enemies grouped up on one side of you and uh, get so keep some space in between you and the enemy, so that you can uh, shoot them and use your uh, use your knockback abilities. Um, as such. And also there's gaps and stuff that certain enemies can't get across. You'll just have to play and see uh, what different enemies uh, can um, move in different ways. Um, and this right here is a drone. Uh, it's a healing drone. There's different. There's at least six or seven different kinds of drones. There's attack drones and healing drones, rocket drones, and uh, flame drones, all kinds of different drones. Uh, you just buy them and they follow you around. They can be destroyed though, so that's a thing. Um, so yeah, uh, back to strategy about the commando. It's it's pretty straightforward. You just want to get everybody grouped up on one side of you, create some space, and then just spam your abilities. Um, except for your third ability, you want to keep your third ability active until you need to get. It's basically for evading and kiting. Um, so not not too complicated. One of the simpler classes. It's good that they made the simpler class one of the first ones. Um, so yeah, we're just exploring. Uh, I, I got one item already. Uh, it's the war banner. You can see the items uh, show up in, across the bottom of your screen. War banner, when you level up, it drops a war banner. And fucking... It, you'll see when... I, I'll, I'll explain it when it, when it actually happens. There's another uh, healing drone down there. I usually don't pick up healing drones on the first level because they don't really uh, help me that much. But, uh... Yeah, okay, got another item, it's called, uh, Toxic something? It's called Infected. Or, no, I don't know what it's called. I don't know if I've ever gotten that item before. Um, but, I know what it does, because I've looked up all what all the items do. It infects any enemy you touch, and then that infection spreads to other enemies. Okay, so here's the War Banner. It gives you, uh, two health per second, uh, increased attack speed, increased movement speed. Um, I think that's about it. So nice little, uh, good for uh, farming, you can set it up, you can proc it uh, in a certain spot where you want it, great for farming. And uh, the, So on each level, only certain enemies can spawn. So on this level, uh, those little guys, these guys, the jellyfish can spawn, these guys can spawn, um, and those little uh, men looking guys can spawn, I think that's it. Oh no, wisps can also spawn on this on this level as well. So there's the teleporter. Um, wait a sec. To uh, this right here is uh, it's like a shrine type thing. It summons five imps that you have to kill. If you kill the five imps, then you get an item. So let's go ahead and do that. So we got this. If I take too much damage, it creates a uh, fucking piece of shit. Stops time so I can escape and whatnot. Spike strips. You can just read the uh, descriptions, they're pretty straightforward. Alright, um, so let's go ahead and start the teleporter. So, as you can see, it has a counter. I have to survive 90 seconds and a certain boss spawns. This one is the Wandering Vagrant, it's like a giant jellyfish. It shoots balls at me, kind of annoying. Really, uh, it doesn't hurt you by touching you, it only hurts you with the balls. So you can, you, can, you can stand with it right on top of you and it won't do anything. Jumping! Jumping! Jumping is also very important in this game. Uh, certain enemies cannot hit you while you are jumping. That's not true. Certain enemies, like the guys, the little purple guys, um, they cannot hit you. If you jump above them, they cannot hit you, basically. Sorry, I'm hiccuping. I just had lunch. Um, 
their their attacks are solely ground based, so that if you're in the air and they're on the ground, it doesn't hurt you. So that right there is a great spot for my uh, war banner because it's right in the middle of where I'm fighting and whatnot. Oh shit! All right, so I killed the boss, and when you kill a boss, an item also spawns. Um, so now you just have to survive another 20 seconds, and then once the time limit is up, you have to kill the remaining enemies, and then you can progress to the next level. Oh, and as you can see, my uh, one of my healing drones died, so it costs more money to, to pick them back up. I'm not going to waste my money on that. Uh, ukulele uh, does electric AoE damage on hit uh, every now and then. It's got a percentage uh, chance to uh, activate. This guy right here is a Greater Wisp. They are probably the hardest enemies in the game simply because their attacks are so uh, hard to read and uh, hard to dodge. I don't give a fuck though, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill him. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze in five classes in this video. There's so much content. This is definitely gonna be the longest class to explain because I'm also explaining how the game works and everything. I won't have to do that on the other classes. Um, I just picked up the golden gun. The golden gun gives you uh, more damage the more shit you have. Uh, gold, obviously. Let's just kill the fucking guys and get the fuck onto the next class. Maybe I won't even complete the level one. Oh, I fell down. I'm certain. This is, I forgot to explain. These are the shrines right here. Shrines can drop two, uh, two items uh, total. Um, but they don't always drop anything. And every time you use it, it costs more money. See, it just dropped uh, dropped an item. Um, and you haven't activated items, obviously. I just picked one up. This one drops um, a decoy that explodes after a little second. I think it explodes. Maybe it doesn't explode. I don't know. Um, anyway, all right. So once you, once you defeat all the enemies, um, there's a little arrow around you, it shows you where to go, if there's still enemies alive, if there's not, points directly to the teleporter, you press A on the teleporter, it takes you to the next level, very simple. Alright, we're gonna go on to the next, oh I got a new record, oh I got a new item, oh cool, yeah I've never picked up that, uh, that item before, cool. So it's Toxic Worm, dealing 50% damage, cool, alright, uh, so these are all the items obviously. If they're black, that means you've unlocked them, but you haven't picked them up yet. Except for this one. This one right here is glitched as fuck. I haven't completed the challenge to unlock that, yet it's unlocked, but I have never picked it up because it's not unlocked. So, I don't know. We'll see how that works out once I actually unlock it. Hopefully it's not glitched beyond repair. Um, so yeah, uh, next class. Enforcer. My least favorite class. Um, I'm, he's not my least favorite because he's bad. Um, it's just I don't like the way he plays. He's very... Uh, slow and uh, not mobile um, his, uh, he definitely has his strong points but I just don't like the way he plays his first ability is riot shotgun and does AOE damage that's one of the good things about him is his uh, auto attack does AOE damage um, uh, shield slam he has a, a right shield and uh, shield slam knocks all enemies around you way back it knocks them far distance and does, does damage to all of them um, protect and serve is his right shield. He takes a defensive stance, which means he he slams his shield on the ground and cannot move for a certain amount of time. I think it's two or three seconds. He can't move, and then what, if he act, he can stay there as long as he wants. But then you can activate the ability after that two seconds again, and then you pick your shield up and you can walk around again. And it also increases your uh, attack speed. And then crowd control is an AOE stun. That does percentage damage. It can bounce, but you, that doesn't really come into play a whole lot. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at him. Try to complete the levels a little faster this time. So here's his auto. Has a very short range, but does AOE damage. Here's his uh, shield slam. Doesn't really look like much. Uh, here's his ultimate. I just said ultimate. I've been playing too much League. So as you can see, it stuns him and does damage. Here's his shield slam again. And then use auto as they try to walk to you. Alright. Um, let's go get this. Oh, fuck the canister. I don't care. All right. Let's check up here. Nothing up there. So hunker down right here. Increases my attack speed, and he can't hit me because he's across the gap. So kill.
killed him with my shield slam. But as you can see, this guy, uh, not mobile at all, he's very slow, and if you press your third ability at the wrong time, it could really fuck you up, because you, I'll show you how it works. Come here, guy. So, oh, I gotta wait for it to recharge. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I hunker down, he can't hit me if he's in front of me, but as you can see, he can easily get behind me. So, if I have a big wave of enemies, and I use that at the wrong time, um, I'll pretty much be fucked, because they can just behind, get behind me and can't do anything about it. I think, personally, you should be able to um, change which direction you're facing when the ability is activated. Um, you know, because enemies can still get behind you, it's not like a complete shield, but you have the ability to uh, uh, protect yourself from both directions. It's not completely overpowered where you'd be completely protected from everything, it's not like a bunker, but you still have the ability to uh, switch directions and uh, a little more viable. I would definitely uh, strongly consider playing him after uh, that kind of change to his class. Definitely not badly designed though. I think it's very unique. He's definitely one of the more unique um, classes. Um, but I just don't like how uh, immobile he is. I like being able to dodge. God damn it. I'm gonna die. I just, I don't have much practice playing with this guy. There's the teleporter, we'll go ahead and do the teleporter. I'll probably die during the teleporter phase. Especially if it's the Magmorum, but that's okay. Oh, uh, it's a Wandering Vagrant, we'll see how it works. Oh god. Ah! This guy has like, no kiting ability either. Which is almost completely important in this game. Ah! Okay, sorry, that was loud. This game gets this game goes off in terms of difficulty, it goes off into insanity. Like it just keeps getting harder and harder. Um, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different difficulties it looks like, unless I counted wrong. Try to pay attention to the game and count at the same time, it's not working. Um, and the harder base difficulty you're on, the faster the difficulty goes up. I'm gonna die. Ah! Okay. Um. I'm gonna at least kill the boss without fucking dying. Fuck. game requires a lot of concentration in the later levels. I'm just being an idiot because I'm taking so much damage. So I'm trying to concentrate so I don't die. Oh god, that was close. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my god, I have 8 health. Oh god, I just died. Oh god, I just died. Yep, I did. Okay. Alrighty, well that's the Enforcer. As you can see, I suck with him. He's not bad though. I'm sure some people like him. I just don't personally like him. No, I don't want to try again. Uh... I don't know how we're doing on time. I think I'm just going to do um, three classes in this video so it's not too long and drawn out and boring. Make three videos out of it. Okay, Bandit. Bandit's a pretty good class. Uh, I enjoy playing him. Uh, first ability is Blast. Very powerful and shoots very fast for uh, how he starts out. Shoots really, really fast but does not do AOE damage. Um, uh, second ability is Dynamite Toss. It's like a, a short-ranged uh, grenade type thing. Um, very short-ranged. You have to be pretty close to make it useful. Does AoE damage. Um, and then his third ability is his defensive ability, turn invisible. You cannot be seen by enemies. And I think it's including bosses. Um, and then once you, if you uh, attack, if after three seconds it, it just wears off. But if you attack out of your invisibility, it stuns enemies. So that's good. And then his, uh, his uh, fourth ability, I almost said ultimate again. His fourth ability um, is really what makes him uh, fun to play, in my opinion. Um, it does single target damage, but if you kill the target you hit with it, it resets all of your cooldowns. And that's really good because Smoke Bomb has like a 12 second cooldown. So you can really chain together some uh, good uh, combos with this guy. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the other variant of the first level. Um, this one's a lot larger, 
and a lot harder to uh, whatever you want to call it, go across. So he shoots really fast. I'm just using all his abilities. Here's his uh, third, second ability. It's like a little grenade. Probably his worst ability because it doesn't do a whole lot of damage at the start. It does do AOE damage though, so that's good. So as you can see, you can really, if you get all the enemies down to uh, the right amount of health, you can just spam your uh, fourth ability and kill them all in a chain reaction. One of his challenges is actually to reset his cooldowns 15 times in a row without failing. Um, so basically you just have to do that on the first level, that would be the easiest place to do it. Just the teleporter, go ahead and activate it. Once you start playing a lot, you'll realize as soon as you find the teleporter, you usually want to press it, unless you know you can, uh, if farming enemies will uh, be beneficial to you if you know there's a lot of stuff around. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna die. Run away! Run away! Okay. When you're on ropes and ladders and stuff, um, 99, about 99% of the enemies cannot hit you. Only, I think, pretty sure the only enemies that can hit you are uh, the epic, mo epic variant of enemies that shoot red rockets, which... Um, that sounded kind of weird. Red rockets, it's like a dog's penis. I just died. Fuck. I don't know. I think I, I think I played this guy long enough. He's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say about him. So I think we're done with him. You you pretty much saw how he works. Um, strategy behind him is to, uh, I didn't talk about the strategy with the Enforcer, but it's pretty straightforward. Get everybody on one side of you, don't fucking die. That's the strategy with the Enforcer. Um, there's no kiting really at all, because you can't move and shoot at the same time with him. Um, as for the Bandit, same thing, you want to get everybody in one spot, um, and then try to get everybody's health really low and chain your cooldowns together. Um, and also don't fucking die, because that, that, be, uh, that would not be helpful. Um, so I think that'll conclude this episode. Uh, I guess I'll do two more. Maybe I can fit them all into the next episode. I don't know if I go fast. Um, and then after that, I'll start making uh, achievement videos because some of the achievements on here are very unclear. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I think uh, I think this is pretty uh, helpful. Um, thanks for watching. I guess yeah. That's I don't have anything else. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please. Uh, Leave a comment or a like rating if you feel like it. If you uh, did not enjoy the video, please uh, dislike it and tell me what a smelly hooker face I am. I think I already used that one in one of my Bioshock videos. I don't know. Tell me what. Uh, tell me what you think I am. Tell me. Tell me what insult you you think fits my piece of shit uh, persona um, for these videos. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.